If you are a developer of Unity and you want to import a 360 video and play around with it, and maybe also try it with the MetaQuest 3, this video is for you. The final result will be something like this. Let's get started. First of all, you need a new window called Lighting. Then you need a new scene or you can use the existing one and you need a new folder called resources. And here in resources, we are going to import our 360 video. I choose one online, but you can also create your own. And by the way, I made another video to create your own. You will find it in the description of this video. If you go to the inspector, having the 360 video selected, you can see the properties. this point we are going to create a video player you have to click with the right button of your mouse and select video player then we are going to drag and drop our 360 video into the video clip field in the video player if you want you can also link it to a url then we are going to create a render texture you can rename it and you can choose a size. Then we are going to create a material. And this material should be of shader skybox. Type panoramic. We are going to drag and drop our render texture into the spherical HDR field. Then we are going to lighting and in environment, we are going to drag and drop our skybox material. We can click play to double check that uh, the video is playing correctly. So it looks good. And the next step is to basically add it in VR. So we are going to connect the headset to the computer. Here you can change some settings if you want. Okay, you connect the headset to the computer and of course you turn on the headset. Then you click on Quest Link. You select it and click Launch. Once you see the green space, it means that uh, it's connected. Okay, here we go. Now we're going back to Unity and we go to the Package Management, Package Manager. And we look for OpenXR Meta, which is the software library used for enabling uh, multiple headsets, but mainly the one from Meta. Okay, at this point, two sections are very important, player settings and XR plugin management. We can quick, quickly go to player settings and we will come back here later. Just make sure you are in Android. In XR plugin management, select the Android tab and check OpenXR and MetaQuest feature group. Then you can click in uh, OpenXR and you add a new item to the list. 
called Oculus Touch Controller Profile, which means we are enabling the controller of the headset. Then in Project Validation, you click on Fix All to fix every possible issue, or at least the one that uh, are possible to solve. Okay, now we configured everything in the uh, um, project settings. And we are going to add to the scene the XR origin, which is typically the camera for the headset. And here we select floor. Now we're going to add AR, AR session. And we are going to the build settings. Make sure you switch to Android. So switch platform. Usually by default is Windows. But the MetaQuest um, on the MetaQuest is running Android operating system. So we have to switch platform. As you can see here, you cannot select build yet. So we have to add a new build profile. We select Android, we give it a name. Add. Once you add it, it resets some uh, settings. Make sure you select uh, as uh, run device, the Oculus Quest 3. I added a cube here just as reference to make sure that uh, um, I know where the origin is located and I can see also virtual elements in addition to the 360 video. And make sure here you select Skybox. Otherwise, you will see a black screen on the headset and not the 360 video. So if you click play here, it runs. And now we are ready to go and test it on the headset. So we click on build and run. We save the scene and it will generate a build. That's it. Make sure you follow me for more videos about technology, digital art and vlogs. And if you find this video useful, add a like. Bye.